growing up in the Democratic Republic of Congo, just talk about what it was like growing up there. It was like, I'm gonna put it this way, it was like a kid trying to figure a way to be a kid. And at the same time, because, you know, you go to a lot of struggle now, you gotta find a way to grow faster. And, you know, what are the best way that, that I could get out of here so I could have more opportunities to be a kid or to, you know, to chase my dream and my career, so. Is that why the MBA was so appealing to you? Because that was your way out? The goal at the beginning was like, look, I just want to have an opportunity to live a good life, you know? And then over the course of time, as you keep going, it's like, yeah, I think I can make it to the NBA. Okay, let's shoot for it then. So yeah, then the NBA became a goal. And obviously because of that, I am who I am. That's why I go back because I understand the struggle of all those kids. I understand what they're going through. When I got to the NBA, when I got out of my country, I got to see what's happening outside of my continent. Uh, and I wanted to be one of the leader of Africa, one that's going to be part of the change. Why is it so important for you to go back mm. as much as you can, help out those kids? I know you said you remember being like them, yeah. so why is it so important to you to go back? After I make it to the NBA, I was asking myself, you know, if I was that kid back home, like what would I wish for somebody to do for me, you know? When we started, we only had like 25 kids, and now we have uh, a little over 10,000 kids across the country. Get your balance, get your balance. There we go, uh-huh. There we go. And then we, we were only focused on sports. So from sports, it's like, look, how can we help them stay home, dream, go to the nicest school? So we start building schools. Uh, our first one is up and running, it's been up and running. Uh, this is going to be year two. Uh, our second one is under construction. When, when you do these things, you really don't think how much of an impact it has on their lives. And I'm sure seeing those kids, their faces light up. What is that like when you're out there with them and they look, literally look up to you? It's so like much. seeing myself, you know. Uh, every day I get messages from these kids and um, the amount of kids that has changed the way they think, the way they live, uh, believing in their dreams now, seeing that it's possible. I have to go there, they have to touch me, they have to see me, they have to look at me in the eyes, ask me questions because they need to understand that yes, it's possible because I can, I was just like them no shoes, playing basketball. I think me also going back, it helped me not lose sight of things, not lose value of things, you know. Learning how to appreciate things, appreciate people. I'll send it to you. Cool, cool. Yeah.